What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing Tinkaton in ranked regulation F. Now, Tinkaton looks absolutely amazing with a top tier typing of steel and fairy. It's got a giant hammer, which makes it learn to move Gigaton Hammer. Gigaton Hammer is a high base steel move, making Tinkaton rip into fairy type Pokemon. But we're pairing up Tinkaton today with some meta Pokemon and then an off meta support Pokemon of Grafia. Should be a fun one. Hopefully, we can grab some wins for you guys in today's video. But Tinkaton is rocking the own tempo ability alongside with the expert belt as item so super effective moves do more damage it's got fake out for flinches like we already mentioned it's signature move gigaton hammer and then we got play rough for stab and ice hammer for a nice lovely coverage move to deal with a lot of different pokemon in the meta like i said we have an off meta pokemon for our support guy and it is going to be grafia with prankster and the covert cloak love its move set of encore taunt super fang and swagger we can actually swagger the tinkaton giving it a free plus two boost on attack and since we had own tempo as our ability the confusion won't even happen so we can just freely boost up tinkaton making it do a ridiculous amount of damage other Pokemon on today's team is going to be Rollaboom and Galaxy Fire, and then we have Shen Pao and Raging Bolt. Like I said, a lot of different meta Pokemon you guys seen before, but pairing it up with these two off meta Pokemon make for a really good squad in ranked regulation F. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But let's get after it. Let's hop into our first match. First match on its way, and we're going up against Mimikyu in ranked regulation F. Really cool Pokemon, love Mimikyu so much. They also have Sandy Shocks, Ogre Pond, Espathra, and then a nice Trick Room combo of Ferrigarath and Ursaluna. So I kind of want to go into maybe a Pokemon like this. I think that'd be pretty cool. Nice little Tinkaton action with 146 speed, it's not bad. We can also lead it with Grafia. Now, I know that a lot of its moves will be canceled out by Armadale, but I believe if we use Swagger, on Tinkaton, if you use it on your own Pokemon, the Armor Tail won't affect it. I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive. positive. So you know what? I'm gonna lead it. We're gonna try to get after it that way. Something I really, really like. We also have a nice little Terra type to deal with Ursaluna with a dragon. I can get down for that. So those are gonna be my Pokemon in the back end. Um, I could go Shen Pao, Gouge, Fire. That's something that's pretty decent here. We are gonna have to watch out for Ogre Pond, which is a little bit of a problem, but I do have a Grass Terra, which isn't bad. Or I could just go straight roll boom. Straight roll boom's kind of making a case here, right? Grassy guy can do absolute work. We love it so much. So I'm gonna go roll boom, and last but not least, we're gonna bring Shen Pao. A little bit of Shen Pao. So match number one on its way. Let's look to get after it. But dude, super excited to um, be bringing you guys more content on the channel. I have a nice little informative video coming out. I don't want to give you guys like a release date because I'm working on a script right now. I want to work on the script, write down everything I want to do, and then get to editing because it's going to be like a week to two week, maybe a month long project. But hopefully you guys do enjoy it. And once I get better at these types of videos, we're going to be pumping them out more and more. They're kind of like Wolfie videos. You guys ever watch Wolfie BGC? I'm sure a lot of you guys did or have seen these videos. They're kind of like that. And I think they're very informative and very entertaining to watch. So hopefully you guys are excited for this. But uh, Espathra and Sandy Shocks come out here for the lead, which I don't mind. I can simply just swagger you, right? And you're not fighting, are you, Espathra? No, you're just straight psychic. I can swagger you, and I might want to Terrasilize Tinkaton here. Just into Dragon Typing. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Terrasilize into Dragon Typing, and I'm just going to rip an Ice Hammer. Right into Sandy Shocks. And the reason I want to Terrasilize into this typing right here, this dragon typing, is because Sandy Shocks Park Ground, Earth Power from that thing does a ridiculous amount of damage. So I'm not trying to deal with that. You could protect too, thinking I'm faking him out. And maybe that's probably what we should have done, right? Probably should have faked out first. But no, that's cool. That's fine. They're not even going to protect. But yeah, maybe I was going to say, maybe we should have faked out first, set up the own tempo, and then like maybe Encore him and stuff. But he's just going to pop a gravity. Which I don't mind. A little bit of gravity action. And are you hypnosising me? You are. Oh, man. Very annoying. Very annoying. Good thing we get the dump on Sandy Shocks, though. So, Hypnosis is landing 100% of the time with the Sispathra. Take a ton. Ripping into Sandy Shocks. Get on out of here. Ice Hammer. Big time damage. Our speed's gonna drop, but it doesn't matter. You already outspeed us. You already outspeed us. So, Grafia is slumped right now. Sispathra getting a nice lovely speed boost. And from here, he's probably just gonna put my Tinkaton to sleep. Let's be honest. Ursaluna now comes out here, and I'm glad I'm already terrestrialized. I swear, yo, you put me to sleep, I'm gonna be very upset. I'm gonna be very upset. 
So from here, I could just swagger any of these Pokemon, to be honest. They're both special attacking, so boosting their attack won't really do much. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to look to rip another Ice Hammer right into the Ursa Luna slot. Maybe I should have went for Gigaton Hammer, but he's probably against Rasslaws. Yeah, definitely should have went Gigaton Hammer. The Terror type is going to come out here. Very, like, so annoying that this thing is now speed boosted in gravity, which means Hypnosis is landing 100% of the time, and he's just going to outspeed me. So this kid's going to call us for a really annoying kind of matchup here. Really annoying kind of matchup. So Grafia sleep. Are you putting me to sleep too? Oh my lord. Doubling down with the sleeps? Come on now. So, just going to put me to sleep. Just going to hyper voice left and right. It's going to be so annoying, bro. I set up Tinkaton too. This would have been a good good first match here. But now I got to deal with this. See what I got to deal with on a daily basis? This is my life right here. Every single day. Something like this has happened. <laughs> Speed boost comes out here. And can you guys guess what's going to happen next? I'll give you guys a hint. I'll give you guys a big time hint. I'll give you guys a real big time hint. We're going to be asleep. And uh, he is going to KO us both with, with uh, Hyper Voice. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. If I can land this Gigaton Hammer. Maybe I can wake up. Grafia wakes up, which is huge. We like that. I can swagger this and confuse it. Give it attack boost because attack boosts don't matter. And the ducks are quacking. So we got a few quacks coming out here. And Lumina Crash is going to finish off with fire. And Tinkaton, if you wake up here, you can get a turn. Or if this thing is confused, you, you can get a turn. Tinkaton wakes up. We love that. We love that. That's big time. That's big time. Because Tinkaton Hammer does some nice damage here. And this thing's confused. We love it. We love it. Hyper Voice still landing. Kind of hurts the soul. But at least I got off that Gigaton Hammer. Okay, so Sleeps did not last that long. I'll take that. Very annoyed at the Sleeps. But at least we get some value out of there. We get the Swagger off. We get the Gigaton Hammer. That's cool. And this thing is Life Orb. So now I can bring out Shen Pao, which I really like. And Rillaboom. Two Pokemon with great first turn priority moves that can actually finish off a lot of these Pokemon. So I can go for Grassy Guy into Ursa Luna, which is great. Finish off that thing. And on top of that, I could just suck a bunch. Or I can double down into what I'm leaning towards doing is doubling down into Espather because I believe it's going to be Focus Ash, right? I believe it to be Focus Ash. Or I can sucker punch and then just fake out this slot. And that works out actually a little bit better because I'll take off the Focus Ash, allow it not to move. And we get rid of Ursula and then just sucker punch it next turn. I like that. I like this turn. I like this turn a lot. I like this turn a lot. So, Espathra looking very annoying with all the hypnosises. We have a chance at winning this match. Thanks to Gigaton Hammer and my boy waking up. But he's just going to withdraw Ursaluna. That's fine. They get a free swap. And they are going to go into Mimikyu. Now, Mimikyu with the disguise ability. Very, very powerful. And is Espathra protecting? It is. So, now this... Kind of annoys me unless gravity goes away. We gotta see how many turns are left in gravity. We have to see how many turns are left in gravity. Again, I do have Focus Sash. I do have the lovely little Focus Sash, which is good. As Panther gets a speed boost, I believe it to be Focus Sash, right? And there are one turn left in gravity, so I could just protect this turn. As long as I have Protect on Rillaboom as well, and I don't. So you know what? We are just going to double down into this S Panther here. And try to KO it. That's going to be my play. Sucker Punch coming out here. It's going to fail. So that's Panther going for Hypnosis this year. Really sucks, man. Really sucks. And he's going to put somebody to sleep. There it is. Should have just protected him. I should have protected him. I should have probably seen that coming, right? I should have probably seen that coming, to be honest. Shadow Claw going to fly here. Uh, Roman's able to soak pretty well. So now, we just need to waste out these turns. As Panther could protect here. It could definitely protect. Gravity's gone. Um, I think I might just take off the skies here. I think I might because what's that Sparta gonna do? I'm just gonna take off the skies. Could protect. Could definitely protect. And it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. If we take off the skies here, they still have Ursa Luna in the back end. The skies drops out here. I can see them potentially doubling down into Shen Pao. Someone's gotta be attacking them. And please don't double down on Rillaboom. Rillaboom, can you soak? My special offense drops. We love that. Shen Pao is still going to be slumped. And from here, you're going to just double down. You're just going to go for play rock there, which I sash up, which is beautiful. So from here, I kind of just need to wake up. 
I kind of just need to wake up here, right? I definitely just need to wake up. I definitely just need to wake up. So, for terrain turns, we only have two, so I gotta use this wisely. I could protect here. Might be my play. I could sucker punch. Um, I'm just gonna protect here. If Shen Pao can wake up, that'd be huge, and I can just grass guide and finish off S Panther. S Panther could protect here too, but I need Shen Pao to wake up here. If I'm gonna win this match, I need to wake up. I need to wake up. I need to wake up. I definitely should have protected my Shen Pao when they went for the Hypnosis on it, but... Come on, man. They keep putting me to sleep. I'm trying to win here. <laughs> I'm trying to win here. I just can't... I just keep getting put back to sleep. The Mimikyu sitting here. I'm hoping Mimikyu attacks the Shen Pao slot. I really do. And i able to protect and wake up. And I was going to say, and Espathor does protect. But Espathor is just going to simply protect here. Big time play for them. And Shen Pao is still asleep. So nothing works in our favor. That's going to be game set match. Shadow Sneak coming in here. If I had to guess, right? If I had to guess, Shadow Sneak coming in hot. Nope, Shadow Claw. Doesn't matter. I did not protect. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. GG to our opponent. That's going to be game. That's going to be game. So a game that actually came down to the wire. Ursaluna's one shot. As panther has been one shot. Mimikyu, we got the disguise off. Just sleep turns, man. If you sleep turns screwing us over, just going to run this one. Let's go hop into our second. Look for our first win with Tinkaton. Moving on to match number two, and Hypnosis gets the best of us in match number one. Still feel like we showcased Tinkaton pretty well, picking up some big-time KOs on Sandy Shocks and some big-time damage onto Ursaluna with that Swagger plus two boost. But we're going up against Heatran alongside with Raging Bolt, Bronzong, and then they got Ursaluna in its regular form, and then Urshifu. Okay, so not a bad team here. I could definitely go Tinkathon here. They could also pop Trickling with Bronzong. Could be very, very annoying, especially if it is rocking the Mental Herb. We don't like the Mental Herb. We definitely don't like the mental. But I still think going into maybe like Grafaya here in Tinkaton is not bad. I don't think it's bad because we can always try to taunt the Bronzong. If it is Mental Herb, then we can just Encore it into a Trick Room, which isn't a bad play for us because we can take off Mental Herb with Taunt and then get after it that way. So I'm going to go in with both of these Pokemon. For my back end, I like Roll Boom here yet again. Just lovely first turn priority, especially up against a Pokemon like Urshifu and Ursaluna. But the other Pokemon, I really don't like it, right? High Horsepower, I mean, High Horsepower rocks up against uh, Raging Bolt and Heatran. You know what? Yeah, we're bringing Roboom. We're bringing Roboom. Roboom's definitely coming in here. And then final Pokemon, I think we just go same squad, or I could go Gouging Fire instead. I just think having that first turn priority move of Sucker Punch is just so valuable. So we're bringing in the same squad. I thought the squad really thrived out there in match number one. Just a few sleep turns were missed. So if we get those back, say we land another Sucker Punch or say we get an Ice Spinner off. I think that's a totally different game. Because like I mentioned at the end of the first battle, Ursaluna was one shot. Um, most of the other Pokemon. S Panther was one shot. And Mimikyu, we took off Disguise, which is kind of pretty much a lightweight Pokemon. But they're going to end up going into Urshifu and Heatran, which I don't mind. Um, I could go straight Dragon-type, which could work pretty well for us. And I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to Swagger and then just go for a play rough into the slot. And then deal with Heatran when the time comes, right? Because we are going to go Dragon-type. I do like that typing up against a lot of what they have right here. So I think going into the Swagger boost and all that. I probably should have faked out, to be honest. But that's fine. That's fine, she's gonna hard swap into who? Who are you hard swapping into? Amoongus. Okay, so Amoongus is gonna come out here. We're gonna get a free plus two boost, which is nice. Um, we're gonna drop a play rough into that slot. It is stab. It's gonna do a little bit of damage, but next turn we can always just ice hammer and drop it. So I can see him just pop out a heat wave here. It's probably pretty simple for him. I don't mind it too much. And I'll get that free plus two boost. Off. So no fake outs coming out from us. We're going right after attack yet again. I'm going to get that own tempo and not be confused, which I love. Player off going to fly here. Do about negative five. It's not very effective. Heat Wave's going to fly out here, and Tinkaton soaks rather well. Same thing with Grafaya. Cool. So now I'm sitting here. Um, I could straight up just taunt that thing if I want to. I could onboard. I could just super fang this slot, because I believe we could just do this. And then just Ice Hammer and pick up a KO onto this guy. Who's faster? Who is faster? I believe Tinkaton should be faster. 147, 149. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a bit faster than Grafaya. So that's going to be good for us because Ice Hammer is going to come out before the Super Fang. Hopefully KO in the Moogus if they don't Thrastalize. Please and thank you. 
Yep, and then Super Fat can have the HP of this Heatran. So cool. Really like that. Definitely really like that. Turn. So chances are they're going to maybe bring back out Shifu here. Super Fang is going to connect half in the sink's HP. Love it. A little pinch of the pinch of the teeth. And Earth Power is going to come out here and Grafia survives. We love it. Big time survival there. Big time survival. So I can get off one more turn. I can Encore Pokemon. I can Swagger if I want to. Confusing Special Attackers. We can do a lot. We can do a lot. We can also Taunt if need be. Let's see who they bring out. We know they have Urshifu, and that is exactly who they're going to bring out here. So Urshifu comes out here, and I think in order to get off like one more turn here, I think our best bet is just to swagger this thing, right? Give it a little bit of confusion, and then just throw a play rough into the slot. Yeah, I like that. Considering Heatran is special attacking, we're just getting off a free confusion. Grafia is already on like one HP, so. This could be good for us. This could be good for us. They saved their terror. They're going to use it here with Earth food, getting rid of its fairy weakness with steel. Oh, steel is so perfect up against my Tinkathon. I still have a steel type. And we're going to hope that this thing is not choice because I would love for Shen Pao just to come into the back end. Really start with it. So Swagger comes out here. Beautiful. We love it. And the ducks are on its head. We love the ducks. Close combat going to fly here. Can we soak this? We do. So your defense is dropped. I like that. I like a nice little drop defense. And actually, you might outspeed us now, Heatran. Let's be honest. You are. You are outspeeding me. Can you hit yourself with ducks? Of course you do. So Grafia gets another turn here. Grafia gets another turn. If I would have known that, I would have probably just went for Super Fang. Get double down and Tinkathon. Tinkathon gets hit hard. Um, They don't have Terra. Uh. I think the right play is just going to be to bring out Robin here. Let's bring out Robin. We will save our Shen Pao for the game. And Grafia is sitting here. What can Grafia do? What can Grafia do? I'm going to go for a Super Fang here. And I'm just going to go for a high horsepower in the slot just to finish off you. I'm cool with that. So his defense is already decent. That's why I'm hoping he can maybe drop another close combat here. We could soak it up, we could drop his defense more, and then I could just sucker punch that thing later in the game. Just finish that thing off. We'll see. I wonder if it's choice, though. I guess we're going to find out here, right? Because if he goes for another close combat, I would think he's choice, but you never know because close combat is probably just the best option for attacking here rather than surging strikes. We'll see. We'll see. I would love to land a Super Fang as well. Half this thing's HP would be beautiful. It'd be beautiful. They end up just withdrawing. It's definitely choice, right? Swapping in and out like that. They're gonna go into their final Pokemon, which is going to be Bronzon, which I get the Super Fang. I like that. So he's trying to protect with Heatran. Can you hit yourself in confusion, please? No, I can never. I can never get anything. I can never get anything. Never. Not one. Super Fang gonna fly. We're gonna half your HP. You do have Levity. Way to go. And I'm going to just do the same thing. I'm going to drop a high horsepower in that slot. And I am just going to taunt the bronze on here. Because I know exactly what they want to do here. They want to try to set up a trick room. So I'm going to taunt it. If it's mental herb, that's fine. Because it's going to pop the mental herb. And then this turn, Rillaboom will take out Heatran. And then next turn, since the mental herb's gone, I can then encore it into trick room, canceling out its own trick room. So everything's working out fine. I left Grafia on the field a bit too long. And it might come back to bite him. It might be a bad play for them. It might be a bad play. The taunt's gonna come out here. Let's get rid of that mental herb. You're probably going for trick room. If you don't go for trick room, I'll love you, but I, I would believe you're going for trick room. Yeah, and there's the mental herb. Bronson always rocking the mental herb. Always. High horsepower flies. That's fine by me. We get rid of you. And then you're just gonna pop trick room. And guess what I'm gonna do? And actually, does that really help you if you do pop trick room? No. Okay, you're just going for hard press. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So I can taunt him again. I can encore him into hard press, but I really don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. Now he's just going to go back into Urshifu. So this is a real good battle. Really good battle. Now would be the time to probably just double down into this thing. It's going to be my play. 
And I'm waiting for them to do something stupid just so I can aqua them into, into whatever I can. Like maybe just like detect this Urshifu here. I can just aqua it. That'd be beautiful. But at that point, Bronzong's just a pain to actually take out here. Bronzong is a pain. And he's going to stick with close combat. We're going to be able to soak, which is awesome. Your defense is going to drop. And I'm hoping this high horsepower can just KO. Super Fang actually halves his HP first. That's great. That's so good that Grafia outspeeds. High horsepower coming in here. Finishing off the Urshfu. So match number two will go into us. Nice battle. Sam. This this was a good battle. This was a good battle. The first match was a good battle too. We just ended up losing. This one was good. Grafia killing it. They left Grafia on the field a bit too long, which kind of bit him, right? Kind of kind of came back to bite him, right? Grafia just killing it on the support role. I always thought Grafia was a really solid support Pokemon, but just due to the fact that there's other really good support Pokemon that kind of does what he does very similar just works out but from here i'm just gonna swagger and i think wood hammers are our best bet because this is a levitate pokemon and they just cancel battle so two and oh no one and one one and one let's go up to our third and final match final match coming at you guys we're one and one i said two and oh at the end of that one i don't know why i wish we were two and oh i really do but scissor is here in match number three Scissor is one of those Pokemon every time I see it, I'm like, good for you. Scissor is just so cool. It's just such a fun Pokemon to see and a fun Pokemon to use. Love it so much. They also have Incineroar, top tier straight meta Pokemon, along with Fluttermane, Ogre Pond, Lando, and it's not theory form, it's incarnate form. And last but not least, they have, what is that Pokemon? Salamence. Salamence. So from here, uh, Incineroar is going to be a good Pokemon to actually use up against me. I do have Calm Mind with Raging Bolt, which I kind of like, potentially hoping to set up this match, but a Pokemon that I am worried about is the incarnate form of Lando. A little bit of an issue. Definitely a little bit of an issue, especially with Electric as your Terror type. I'm going to have to figure out ways around this, and I might just go Grafia Tinkaton again. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Swagger works out well. We can fake out turn one. I really like it. I do really like it. So you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to bring Raging Bolt in the back end. Bolt Ski McGee and then Shen Pao. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Shen Pao coming in here. So Gouging Fire is the only Pokemon that we're not bringing in today's video. You guys seen plenty of other Gouging Fire in my videos. So if you guys want to check out Gouging Fire, just do a little typey type search or just go on my channel, scroll down a little bit. I use Gouging Fire plenty of times. So I pretty much showcase every Pokemon. Just love playing this game. Love making content for you guys. So, if you guys made it to the third and final battle, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate you guys. If you guys made it to the third and final battle and are not subscribed yet, I still appreciate you, but maybe you should subscribe if you watch this content for this long. But Ogre Pond comes out here alongside with Salamence. Intimidate. I got own tempo. Love it. Tempo. Love it. Love it. And from here, um, could go Ice Hammer. Could start throwing Gigaton Hammers. Um, Ice Hammer's gonna be nice, but it's, it's gonna lower my speed, so probably best bet would be to go into this slot. But I think we're just gonna fake out turn one. I think we're just gonna fake out, and we're just gonna get a nice little swagger boost here. Let's see what he wants to do here. Let's just see what he wants to do here, because Salamence could terrestrialize. Um, what moves could it be rocking? Air Slash, Dragon Move. I think it's done great typing up against that, so both your stab moves. I like. So Spike Shield pops out from Ogre Pond. I could encore you into that. I could. I could do that. Could do that. I'm going to take a little bit of spiky damage. And you could also D dance here. And at that point, if you D dance, if you D dance, who would I want to, who would I want to really get after here? Let's see what Salmon's does first. I'm going to go for Tamar. It's a dang shame. It's a dang shame that I gotta do this to you, but I'm just gonna play rough this slot. And it's a dang shame that you're gonna get encored into a spiky shield. <laughs> it's a dang shame. Because you were probably like, yeah, I got some speed, got some tailwind going, but all you can use is spiky shield. <laughs> all you can do is spiky shield. Let's see what they end up doing here. You're getting shielded of spikies for three turns. I love Encore. And this is one of the first uh, games, I should say. And I didn't really do it in Scarlet and Violet, where I use Encore as much as I do. Like, I just think, since Dynamax was a thing, I don't think you can Encore a Dynamax Pokemon. But uh, since Dynamax was a thing, Encore wasn't that good, right? It really wasn't. 
So now with Dynamax out of the picture, Encore is really thriving. I love it. So they're going to Dragon Pulse here. Your fire is going to soak pretty well. Play rough going to connect. Boom. Salamence. Get on out of here. So take a ton driving out here. We get a crit. It don't, it don't matter. You were dead anyway. You were dead anyway. Let's be honest here. I was plus two. That's a stab play rough coming in hot. Okay, I'm going to Salamence. So that's big time. That's big time. So right now, Ogre Pond sitting there. Can't do much. He's going to have to swap next turn. Or it's just going to have to spike his shield. And in that case, we're just going to double down into this Pokemon. Lando. Lando comes out of here. Now, do I Terrasalize? I could because this could get rather annoying. I could try to soak up a shot. Let's go for Ice Hammer. Yeah, if I can use Terra and pick up KO, oh my, that'd be massive. And I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit. So I'm going to do that. Um, I could also Swagger him. Because he is special attacking. So I could have this thing a chance to actually... Get hit by duck, so I'm gonna swagger that. It's gonna withdraw Ogre Pond. That's fine. It's fine. I could also swagger my own tempo Pokemon again. But Incineroar's gonna come out here. And you might end up protecting, but guess what happens if you protect? I'm gonna encore you into it. <laughs> I'm gonna encore you into it every time. The so attack's gonna drop here on Grafia. It's no big deal. And I'm gonna terrestrialize here. I'm scared of the ground moves. I don't want the ground moves popping into me. Don't need it. And guess what, Incineroar? If you fake out. I might just encore you in the fake out. <laughs> I love it, yo. I love encore. Encore is so fun to use. Swagger's gonna come out here. I'm gonna say, yo, I know you're special attacking, so we'll boost your attack. And on top of that, give you the ducks. The dreaded ducks. That haven't done anything for me. Hopefully, they can do something right here. Duck them up. Never works, man. I ne never can get the ducks. So they end up just Earth Power and Grafia. We wasted our Terra, but still. At the same time, I get off this Ice Hammer and we can say bye bye to this Incarnate. Later. Four times super effective. We're plus two. Bop. I love how that move looks. It's a hammer and it kind of just slowly like taps him on the head. It's like, bonk. <laughs> See you later. Bonk. <laughs> Whereas Wood Hammer comes down like a like an actual hammer. But Ice Hammer's just, bonk. <laughs> it's so funny. It really is. So, now they have Fake Out ready to roll. They're forced to bring back out Ogi. Um, I have Raging Bolt in the back end. They still have Terra, which I'm kind of hoping they can just go into, right? Um, could go Raging Bolt and I could go Shen Pao. I think our best bet would just be to go into Shen Pao here. Get a little boost action here. And just protect Shen Pao. We're just going to protect Shen Pao, let's be honest. A little bit of protection on Shen Pao. And hopefully, take a time get off one more turn. That'd be massive. That'd be massive. Does own tempo stop flinches? No, it's just Intimidate. Inner focus stops when you tempo. That would sweet. That would have been sweet. But from here, I'm just gonna go for a player up here, do as much damage as I can on this Incineroar. I'm not too worried about the Ogre Pond considering I think it is gonna terrestrialize. And in that case, I do have the Raging Bolt in the back end. Long neck giraffe. Long neck giraffe. Cool. So hopefully they fake out the Shampoo slot. They leave my ticket to alone. And they allow it to get off at least one more turn. Maybe I should have just attacked with Shen Pao. But we'll see. Terra comes out here, and there's the Terra. So now, you have pure water. My Raging Bolt can Thunderclap. You do a decent amount of damage. Not anything crazy, because this thing is going to get a special defense boost. I am still worried about this Pokemon a little bit. But we're really, really hoping it's going to double down to Shen Pao. That'd be amazing. I right, protect the Snow Leopard. And there's Fake Out? No, oh, they're just attacking me. Probably going for a flare blitz inside. Could be doubling down. Let's see. You soak that. And that's a great call there. That's a, a beautiful call. Double down, read the protect. Gotta give it to, to my opponent, right? Got it. I got it. I have to. It's a must. The must. That's a great play there. Their tailwind finally ends. And I get to bring out the Raging Bolt. So from here, Tinkaton, or not Tinkaton, uh, Ogre Pond could be the Pokemon to just like protect and all that. I think now our best play would be to just double down into this, into, into this Incineroar and try to KO it. But it's going to be kind of tough here. We might lose this. We might lose this because what I believe is going to happen is he's, he's going to be able to soak with Berry and all that. We're hoping he's going to spike each other first and foremost. But um, yeah, cool. Okay, so that works out fine. I was going to say, he's probably going to Berry up and then be able to land like a Flare Blitz or something. I think I'm doubling down into you. Yeah, you read a protect, I read a protect. We can do, we can do this all day. You don't have a berry, so can we KO? 
We do. That's huge. That's huge. So canceled out their read protect by reading one of, the, one of their protects. And we'll win this one no problem now. Thanks for playing Thunderbolt Flying. I'm sticking with Thunderbolt instead of Thunderclap. And I will just go for a sucker punch. New game. Thanks for playing. Cancel the match. Wrap it up. I got Focus Sash. My Rage Bolt's pretty bulky. Maybe I should have calm mine there, but again, they just canceled the match. Two and one for today's video. Own Tempo, Tinkaton, and Prank Sugrafio combo. Amazing. Amazing. You guys never thought you'd see the day where Tinkaton dominates the meta in rank regulation F. Well, today was the day. Grafaya helping it set up with Swagger, Boost Net, Attack to Plus 2, having Tinkaton pretty much one shot any Pokemon it pleases. On top of that, Grafaya has a great support move set that you guys got to see. Taunts, Super Fang, Swaggers, and Encores. Loved it all day long. Pairing it up with the Meta Squad, Roboom, Gouging Fire, Shen, Pout, and Rage Bolt. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it made for an amazing team on this lad. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.